Hi everyone, welcome to Bumblebee Crafts. Thanks for tuning in to Monday's video from me. Um, it's going to be a very slow crafting along video with me. I'm probably not going to talk too much. Um, I'm still getting over a stonk in migraine. Um, so I am. I have managed to film this a couple of days ahead. Um, but I'm next week I've got um, hospital appointments. I've got to go in and have a day surgery. And I've got a lot going on at the moment. So that's probably why the stress of it all has given me another migraine. But um, I wanted to just come on and do um, some crafting. Um, I, As you guys know, I love to craft and I find it such a therapy. Um, if I can sit in my chair um, and not be laid up in bed, then I do love to just have a little play and a craft. So um, I hope you don't mind these slower, you know, more quieter videos from me. But that, that's what I'm going to be doing today. It's the Christmas journal I'm working on. Um, I've been basically going through my pages, um, working out what I want to put where. We did some in last um, the last time we worked on the journal. I've added a couple of other little pages in here and a few little embellishments, um, but I'm just going through and working on, oops, I keep losing those bits out of there. Um, working on the pages so I've got this one here is a little tuck spot here and I want to create this pocket this is a bit of scrapbooking carpet it's very thin um, but it'll still work it'll still be fine so I want to just put this on here and I'm want to get it kind of centered because we're going to have a bit of lace down the side so I think if I just do that, you're not going to see that because the lace will go over and cover it. But that just know I know where to put it. So how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing well. Um, any of my uh, UK subbies, um, I hope you're all okay with the storm that's hit us recently. Um, I know there's been a lot of trees down and up north has had an awful lot of snow it looks so picturesque so picturesque um but yeah i hope you're all doing well and obviously of course all of my subbies wherever you are in the world i hope you're all doing well okay so i'm going a little bit further over there we go I'm just going to weight this down. I do like to use my weights. Maybe just another one on. Oh, there. there we go. Okay, so I'm going to decorate the page with this little cute little mice. I think that as I said last time around, these are probably in my most used bit of ephemera from Rachel and Bella's Christmas kit last year. I just love them. Um, so yeah, we're going to decorate the page up with that. Um, yeah, it's going on. These are going to go on the top in my idea. So let's let's get my fabric tack uh, cleaned. We're just going to have this going down here, like so. Sure, I get it the right way. There we go. A little glue overlap there. That's all down nicely. Now you're going to go there, and I wanted you to be there. So. My lid on that. 
So what I'm going to do is just do, make sure it's pressing something in there, no, I don't want that, about there, here, about there. So I'm just going to do a little pencil line, again I'm not going to see it, um, but it just helps, I'm just feeling being being um, neat and precise today. Some days I don't, some days I do. Okay. Okay, let's just give that a bit of a wet. There we go. I think I'll get my little tweezers. I do prefer to use them to pick up things when I've got glue on them. Okay, so you're going to need Fabri-Tac on, let's just see. Probably a good half of you. So, this is something that I like to do as well is, um, if I'm only putting it on half material, half paper, I will do half fabric tac glue and half normal glue. I just find it, um, yeah, you don't need to always use fabric tac glue. weights push that down but I'm also going to weight down those bits just there there we go that's another page decorated up do we have anything on that side yeah I've got a little pocket that is a tuck spot for something to go in um, so we just need to see what was on the back of that but let's move that let's move that over there and let's grab our next page okay so I've got a little pocket I think this came from one of Artie Mays's and I wanted to put that on there I wasn't sure what I was putting on the top of it I think these are a bit too tall yeah it's a bit too tall for that um what else have we got we think would look good. Um, I'm just having a rummage in the Rachel and Mella stuff here. Um, to see what we've got. I wonder if a smaller candle or something would look nice on there. Gonna go on there. What other coloured ones do we have? Not that one. Hmm. Move this up a little bit. I'm sure I'm not in. I'll go with that one. But what I'm thinking is a little bit of lace on the bottom because I wanted where this little trim is, I want the pocket to sit on top of that. Um, I think we need a word, so let's dig down to my words here. These are the Junk Journal Studio, um, the vertical ones though. So. Um, let's have a look at what we've got in the little red ones. Wish. 
yeah I quite like that just need something along that bottom I'm thinking um, I just wonder if I've got any snippets in here oh, a bit. it just needs a, a little something behind it I think so like that that might be a bit too thick Actually, no, that's not too bad. I'm now thinking I might want a bit of lace as well. Okay, I'm just thinking, all right. Might just do something like that on the pocket. That's quite pretty, isn't it? Yeah, okay, that's what I'm going to do. So, I need you cut about here. Okay, so that's the little, oops, there's another little, oh, <laughs> I've used, thought about using Wish for that one. <laughs> okay, this should be dry enough to... Uh, Put away because I wanted to check. We've got a lovely pocket there. Ah, yes, I hadn't put anything on there. I think something clipped on there might be quite nice, so that can be added in after once we've sewn the signature in. Okay, so that's another page done. So let's do this page. I'm going to flip it out this way just so that it's easier and flatter to do. So, I want my ink. This red card has got a white core which is it was really frustrating I didn't realize when I bought it that it had a white core because I wanted it for die cutting and it's just no good you just get horrible white edges on all the die cutting so um, yeah I just use it as like background pieces okay so we're gonna have you just stuck on there as you are probably hear the wind howling in the window it is exceptionally windy here today very very windy any of the last of the um, leaves have probably all gone from the cherry tree and the magnolia tree okay you are gonna go across there like that Yeah, something like that. So what do we want to do? A couple of little lines in the middle of this, don't we? Yeah, okay. Not too worried about. I might just put a little bit under here. Just like that. That's all we need. Okay. So let's put our candle on. Yeah, really blustery, but it's really mild as well, which is surprising. It's been really bitter cold. Um, 
all week but uh, look because I'm filming this at the weekend um, it's actually really mild so it's like right while it's mild let's uh, open some windows get some fresh air in the house that's just going to go on there And we're going to have Wish up there. Okay. Perfect. Let's get this glued down on here then. Oops, I've got glue eating out, I didn't realise. Okay. So, as always, I'm going to wipe that down. Like so. Right. Give that a minute. I'm just going to have a bit of my green tea. I love that image. That's so lovely. Hmm. That's where I think the wish was going to go, wasn't it? Was I going to have... Okay, maybe not. Maybe the wish. Where was I? It's fallen out and I'm not sure where I was going to have it. Okay. I think this was going to go on here. Okay, so I just need to score this one. So I just... Bring that in. There we go. Again, I think that's a little Artie Mays project um, pocket. Um, a freebie that I, I've had for a while. I think they were probably last year's ones. Okay. Yeah, I can't think where that's come from because that certainly wasn't meant to be on that little pocket. Okay, let's give this an ink. There we go. And okay. But I like that one. That's really nice. There's a little nice little pocket there. Cool. 
Okay, definitely going to keep that all as writing space. Um, maybe wish. No, that's too big really for on the front of there. Hmm. Just having a little rummage in these little Tracy Fox ones just to see if there's any little labels that I want to use. Possibility. I quite like that one. Hmm. Just wondering. We've got that one all sorted. That. Let's have a look at this one as to whether I want. This might be a bit big. I quite. Oh, we've got special delivery there, so I don't want special delivery. Okay, um, small. Uh, what else have we got? They're all a bit big, label wise. Okay, I'm going to leave that for now. So that's a couple of little pockets on those pages. And then I need to figure out what I'm doing on here. Um, I have got some of this scrapbooking card. And I was thinking I could do a little corner pocket on here. I don't think that one goes. That one's a bit too much. I do quite like this one. So let's see... that way and then I kind of know roughly where the middle is okay so I want to come about here let's just bring in my chomper six because I'm going to do it um, diagonally I think I haven't done one of these for a while now do I do it no I think I will get that straight and just do that there we go that's going to be a nice deep pocket there yeah I like that one and then with this little bit there's no reason why we can't have it as a little up tuck on there okay so this needs an ink out sorry just bear with me a second right there we go my glue's all cleaned up it had gone and leaked on a few bits so 
Right, where was I? I was putting this or looking to see whether that along that edge would look nice for you to tuck under. Yeah, I think that's quite nice. And then just a little something on there. I am wondering whether though it's, it is a bit too strong colour. I'm wondering whether that would be better. And then what could we put on there? We could put the lovely candy cane. Yeah, I like that actually. That's really nice. Maybe the red would look okay. And we could do that just on the edge here. Mm, no. Along the bottom. Along the side. I'm really not sure actually with the red. I definitely like this. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this one on here. A lot of that left. I've used a lot of that in this one. Okay, let's just give this a bit of an ink around. So before we stick that on, let's glue this down. It's getting a bit dim in here. It's not too bad from your angle. I think it's just because of the blinds. It's uh, making it a little bit dark. And you, the sky looks rather grey and naughty as if it's going to do something. It will be rain. We just don't get any amount of snow here in my part of the UK. Okay, so I am just going to snip these little bits off so that that goes nicely on there. Let's open that out so that we're nice and flat and that I don't always do this, sometimes it's I just don't remember to do it, but we'll do half and half again on this. So that should cover all on the fabric. that bit that's on the card okay so it's going to go on the page like so I want to go about there okay yeah I really like that that looks nice so now we just want to put glue on the edges. Okay. Like so. And then pop this up on the page as a little tuck. So I'll just grab my weights again, like so. Now we need to decide what we want to put on this one. Let's have a look. 
I did pull some little bits out. Uh, where are we? Are there going to be some things? I wouldn't mind using these. I haven't found anything yet for these, but I don't know if they're going to work on that. I think I need something a bit bigger. So let's have a look. I've got these. I've got him. He's adorable, isn't he? So adorable. And there should be some little presents um, wherever they are. Here we could always put a little a little cluster behind him. Like so. Um, now I am wondering whether it, um, it would like a bit of lace along the bottom just to ground for them to sit on. So like we'd have the bit of lace like this. That would go there. That would go over the top. And then we'd have him. Just over there, like that. Just wondering if he needs a word behind him. Some of those lovely vertical words. Let's pop that over there. I've got some of these, might be quite nice. Maybe it does need to be a bit bigger. Hmm. Um, oh, here we go. We have got um, the next size here because she does them in so many different sizes, which I think is wonderful. You've got the option for lots of different things. Then I wonder if we just put him there, festive. Yeah, I think that's quite nice. We're going to go with that. Okay, so you guys are all going to need inking. Oops, still haven't put the lid on that glue. So we just want a piece along here. Like so. Okay, that should be dry enough to remove those for now. That's lovely. That is really nice. Tuck up a little journaling card or something in there. Okay, let's work on our pocket. So we'll fold that one back that way and we'll have this one open ready because it's going to go on here. Okay, so I'm just going to take off around this. Because I want to put that edge right up against the edge here, like that. Uh, inking, isn't it? Yes, I need to do a bit of inking first. little guy and he's going to be too fiddly to do in the red so I don't have um, a red brush so I'm just going to give him a bit of a vintage photo edge just to take 
off any other white. I usually always do this, especially with butterflies, um, but I haven't been able to do it with the coloured because I've only got a couple of these brushes and I tend to use Vintage Photo a lot for stenciling um, backgrounds, so hence why it's Vintage Photo for you little mouse. I suppose I could always just sort of around the holly just add a little bit of red. That would work, wouldn't it? Just to give it a bit of a pop around there. Yeah. Okay, and then you, Mister, you're gonna go on there, and you will go there. Okay. I'm going to glue this one down first. Just in there, I think, if I can get it straight. It's straight, looks it. Okay. Right to you down. And then that's going to go on there. So I know you're going to go there, but I want to tuck it just behind the lace. On this one okay there we go So it's the lace on now. Okay, that's nice on there. Now, yeah, we're going to do the bottom chunk of this. In Fabri Tac glue. And at the top, oops, not normal, P strong PVA craft glue, there we go, right, so we want you about there. We're going to do the same with the little mouse. Just the bottom bit of his feet that need glue. Like so.
Okay. Give this some white. Like so. Okay. And then that's going to go on this page. Yeah, that folds that way. I've got a nice little pocket on here. glued on here I don't want it all a complete tuck I think I do I'm not going to put anything on there so we are um, getting close to time for today's video um, so um, yeah we've done a couple of little pockets decorated up I've still got more pages to finish decorating um, so probably um, Wednesday's video we're going to come to do some more of this decorating um, and then the final video will be a flip through um, of it which I'm hoping to get done while I'm recovering from my um, operation or procedure um next week so yeah i'll uh, i've got one more video to do and um that will be wednesday and then i'll be back um at some point the following week with a flip through um but the following week we will be starting to decorate up one of the other journals so thank you very much for watching take care everyone happy crafting bye